Brooke Pryor, are you looking at their offensive line and thinking that's Brady's biggest problem right now? No, I am looking at their wide receivers. Uh, we talked about earlier on the, the show this week that Aaron Rodgers should be sending out an SOS. Tom Brady should be sending out an SHS, send help soon, because things are not looking good when I look at this injury report. I mean, what, no Julio, Mike Evans gets downgraded, Chris Godwin obviously not practicing. You can have an all-world quarterback, but who the heck is he going to throw to? To me, that is my biggest concern. Yes, you need to protect him, but he has to have somebody to get the ball down the field. So, Nico, I mean, that's your guy, Tom Brady, obviously. I mean, but both things can be true. RC can be right. The offensive line's a huge problem. And Brooke can be right. The receivers are a huge problem. But So we're nervous for him. She's afraid for him. I'm afraid for him. RC's afraid for him. Is he afraid for him? First off, I need to get him a hamburger. He looks a little afraid. Right? <laughs> you know, he needs to beef up a little bit. But listen, when your get offensive line, that was, that was the number one concern that I had coming into the season was the interior of the offensive line. Right. Well, then if he has a tackle issue, that's even more of a concern for me is just the protection there. The injuries on the receiver, that doesn't really bother because there's things that you can do to make you feel good. Rick, before the game, you go out there, you play three hours, and then you feel terrible after it wears off. So I think they'll be fine. Tortle. Is but, he worried about it? Is Brady? <laughs> what is his mentality when he goes out there in this situation? I think he was talking Tom, about his bumps Tom's, and bruises I, after week one. I, yeah, he thinks about that after the game. But before, when he steps on the field, he's not thinking, oh, I'm nervous to get hit. I think that he's going to be in a zone ready to go to play against a team that's beat him in the regular season more than m any team I could think of in a division that has his number. So, mm. I think coming into this game, he knows I got to get the ball out of my hands quickly. We have to get the ball on the perimeter. We have to run screens, draws, use the aggression of the Saints front to the advantage of our offense. What do you think, Danny? It's a Saints defense that has pushed this team around when mm -hmm. the offensive line was great, when the wide receivers practiced all week. Now you're going in there, and, and those things are not the case, right? The line is shaky and banged up. The receiving core is banged up. Brady is, you know, he's still working his way into this season, right? There's a lot going on by his own admission. So the, the Saints beat the Bucs 9-0 last year with Taysom Hill starting a quarterback. Like, th this defense takes pride. We had Cam Jordan here, remember, in the offseason. Like, this, this, this defense takes pride in what it's done against Tom Brady the last couple of years, and they're going to be fired up for this game. So, Cindy, can we put the picks up there just as quick as we can? Throw this just to see if anyone – how does everyone pick this game? We'll throw – sometimes we will talk our way through these, but if we can, we could just pop them up there. Let, let's see what they are because we only have a minute. RC likes the Saints. Brooks got the – oh, look at that. We, we got, a, we got a split right split. down the middle. What did you Minko, you're riding with your guy, Tom Brady. <laughs> of course I, I saw that coming. My guy. Come on. I, I, just, I don't want a text message like, what are we doing, baby? Honest question. You know? If you sent him a hamburger, would he? <laughs> Probably no. not. I don't think Tom Brady. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Plant based. Meat, meat free. Meat I don't think he's eating a hamburger. Meat free yeah. burger. That's not a burger. Oh.